Hi, welcome back to Relatively Speaking 2020. My name is Rosemary, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a tutorial video, um, not too long, half an hour at most, maybe 30, 45 minutes. And this piece is inspired by somebody within our Discord that recently came in. Uh, I will call him Malice. Um, his name is a little longer. Um, and he had asked me to, I, I, I was paint his soul. Um, and, um, this is part of what he, who he is. And also inspired by uh, at least one of the songs that he likes, which I will not be able to play here because of the crop copyright infringements that YouTube has placed upon a lot of what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, it is a song called Anarchy Club. Club is the band name and the song is called King of Everything. So if you want to listen, um, this is a little piece of malice here um, that I'm going to paint. And like I said, this will be more of a me talking tutorial. And that's fine. Um, I haven't done them. I've done a uh, different series, which is actually not... It's not kid-friendly, I would say. It involves some um, adult theme. And uh, uh, it just involves me being nude in my skin because that's what I like to do when I paint. So this is more on the lines that anybody else can actually watch this. Those videos themselves, um, those um, that series will actually be part of the Discord and part of the Patreon package which we are going to launch very soon and be putting up. So um, one of the favorite brushes I like to use usually is uh, just to start with. I have um, this one is a little bit more stiff bristle three-fourth. It's an artist loft brush. A uh, little bit bigger to um, stiffer bristle. And I like to do a watercolor technique as I paint these. And <clears throat> this one is a little bit more fuller bristle. Um, sometimes I'll oscillate between the two. But I like to start off with the bigger brushes first and usually saturate the brush. And today's color choices that I'm going to start with are, I'm going to start with these lighter colors in the middle and work my way out. I do already, like I said, I've already listened to the song. It is a really cool, powerful song. Um, and I have an idea about what is going to be displayed here as a background first. And um, I'm going to start with, like I said, some lighter colors. I'm going to actually start with a yellow pale color. Um, and I'm using Arteza uh, acrylic paints. Uh, and these are, um, they came in a big box, so these are 22 milliliter tubes. Um, and I don't use a lot of paint. I'm kind of, I'm very frugal with what I use. Um, and some of that is because of what I do is I layer the paint. So, and I'll be offering more tutorials for people to learn, um, within, like I said, within our Discord, our school, we are setting that up. Um, they will be part of packages that we could use for Patreon as well, if you want to join that way. Um, some people are not interested in the other aspects of the school that we're doing, which uh, we, we have energy healing, amazing energy healing. Um, I have been privy to it myself and um, had a lot that was going on within my body. And uh, you can use this video as part of a testimonial for that. Uh, uh, I had akin to stage four cervical cancer. And that was cured within me. Um, Scott is very good at doing this, at healing. Um, and I've uh, been healed by many different other ailments as well throughout the entire year. Uh, I myself have learned and done energy healings. Uh, I'm able to um, sort of surgically go in and do an energy healing itself. And um, precise, more of an emotional and... Uh, um, Kind of a karmic healing as well, because I see into a person's soul. So I see their potential, and I see where their soul signatures actually came from. So it's part of the painting process that I do, is when I paint a person's soul, I actually, I just very much see into them as well, where their soul spark has been, and where it's traveled. So it's part of what I paint. Um, and some people are surprised a bit when I do a consultation with them, and these will be offered as well. I'm sorry, my camera is blurring. Uh, let's go drop it down a little bit. Come on. There we go. Um, 
these are going to be part of, um, this is just the beginning. This is for Malice. Like I said, he's a very special person for me. Um, when he came in Discord, he's a nice, nice guy. And, um, this is, uh, just the start of this. The packages for me to paint are going to be a bit more pricey because what I do, nobody else does. And there we oftentimes I actually paint with both hands. So, and for now, I'm just putting a background color on it. So, um, it's very much loose. I have water on here and I'm layering it down first. Um, what I'm doing is I'm creating a light source that's coming down here and I'm doing it as a background. So I know I will be painting over some of this part as I go, uh, adding more depth to it, more color to it, darkness, shadows, um, for this particular light source that I have coming in from the background, more white. Um, will be put on top, titanium white. I do apologize again for the fact that my camera is kind of blurry. There we go. It does that quite often. I will adjust it more. Let's see if I can. There we go. See, that works a little better. Uh, and some of what I work with too is I have these block towels. This helps to get the paint, the, the water moisture off of your brush and to your paint as well as see how much you have on there. And the fun thing I like to do is um, with the current uh, way that the system has been, the current um, pandemic thing that's been going on, um, but out of rubbing alcohol, which I like to dilute the paint with in water, I dilute it with water and it actually gets acrylics off really well on my brushes. But since there's a shortage in a lot of medical supplies, and uh, I don't drink anymore and have a huge liquor cabinet full of liquor that I don't use. So my paints actually smell <laughs> like whatever liquor I'm using. And right now I'm using um, Hot Damn. So it smells like cinnamon. Which is accurately enough goes with this painting. Um, sometimes you don't smell it when the product's done. Depends on how much alcohol I put in there. It's usually a couple splashes to dilute it. But fun fact about some of most of my paintings is they are like a scratch and sniff only don't scratch them <laughs> but um uh it does have a scent uh so i have a little fun with that you know um and when i paint music so i'm gonna go with that when i paint music too so um i feel the beats in my body they go through me um bassier sounds are lower in my body and they come up through my spine if they're higher pitch but they also circle as well. Um, so if anybody out there is um, knowledgeable about the esoteric or the spiritual community, um, the kid to what we call it, the Millennium Rising, I know it's a different energy all in itself. And sometimes it gets a bad rap in society, but it's really, it's not. It is the natural, purest energy. It is, it is love. It is frequency. It is vibrations. It's being free with yourself, your soul, your body. So it it's a healing energy as well. It's also what resonates out with people when they're inside right, and they're and they're just let loose. So it's very very process it's a process of listening to music, being yourself. Um uh and as I use in my other videos, it's uh be a beautiful soul. So I paint souls. So, like I said, part of the packages that I'm going to have for these um, uh, painting process, they're going to be pricier because it, 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 nobody else does paint music like I do. Uh, I haven't seen anybody or use two hands when I get to the finer details. I'd like to. And it is profound when I'm listening to music because I can paint a different portion of a track and a different beat pit, pitch color and a different section of the painting and also do a different track, beat, color, frequency with this hand at the same time. I haven't seen anybody that really does that. You may see this within, like I said, when I get into the finer details of what I'm doing as I go. So you'll see that more as it's layered in. Um, but I, I don't see anybody else that has done that. Um, also I paint, I can paint music and singles and, and, um, I don't see people painting that as well. I know some people call it synthesia, but it's not the same. I also paint a person's soul. I see it inside of them. So, um, <clears throat> and I have a lot of artwork to show that. The ones I have currently that you see here above me is, these are actually one of the first pieces I did 
um, acrylics. It was just a spread tree and the one down below. And I believe that one I called Sacred Grove. The one down below is just shrooms. It's having fun with magic shrooms. Um, so, you know, one of the first ones I did. Not really souls, but paintings. Uh, and I think they did them a few years ago. Um, and they were, you know, fun to do. Fun to practice when I'm first starting out. Um, and I have only been painting acrylics really for maybe a good year and a half. Well, well actually two years now. It's been time flies, you know. Um, I, I, I've only been doing that as well. But uh, in the last year, two years, year maybe, I did painted music. I started that. And it was, um, it was a challenge that was, that was given to me. And and it helped me to connect more with people, um, connect more with music, connect more with the world, listen to the messages within the music. So very um, enlightening to do. And I, I would love to teach this within classes or at least teach people how to paint and be free with it. Also children. Um, I love children. I don't have any, but I do love teaching children. I've often been told that I'm good with children. So, um, it would be awesome to do that, to have classes, that tutorial sessions, let them, the kids be free to express themselves. It's one of the best ways to, um, to paint and color outside the lines. <laughs> you could use references we build up to it, but the more free we are, the more you just let it flow out of you, the easier it is for you to pick those shapes out later. And later, and as you see now, I layer. So I start with, sometimes I start with darker colors, sometimes I start with lighter colors. Um, and acrylics are good like that because they tend to dry fast, but I do like the Arteza. They don't dry as fast. So it's a good brand to use um, when starting out. Uh, they're not super expensive. So, but I, I they're, they're um, a good brand, better than I had. a I think I had Artist Loft ones. They were kind of cheap and they did. They were kind of lumpy and they dried really fast. It was a little bit annoying. So, um, I still have them. I use them occasionally just to, you know, have the, um, extra paint in the background such. Um, and, uh, I don't have great quality brushes, but I'm doing what I have. Um, so once again, like I said, so painting, Music singles, they're a little bit more pricier. Painting a soul requires at least an hour of consultation with the person that I'm talking to. Uh, I do go into their past life more or into their soul as I'm talking to them. I connect to them. Um, so it is for me to have that hour consultation on top of me painting a soul. I mean, that is something that is profound in a person. I also don't see anybody actually doing that. They put themselves into a painting, but painting the person that you're dealing with, unless you're doing a portrait, but still it's, I paint their soul as it's not as a portrait. It's more of what their energy looks like, how their energy flow goes. So those are going to be more pricier because it requires a consultation. However, it also facilitates that we open up to do uh, one-on-ones for karmic regression healings. The more I talk to a person, the more I can see where their past lives were, where their karma balance is, um, and that healing can also take place. Um, there's also, like I said, one-on-one -on -one personal healings that we do, um, energy healings. I've taken certain things from people, I've taken ear aches, uh, stomach aches, hang over or two from somebody, just took it from them. Um, so, and learning more of pushing a positive back than just taking right now. It's a good thing, uh, a good practice to go through. So, and there's other things as well within our YouTube or in our um, Discord that we will have. Um, we launched Patreon and it will have a lot of my merchandise will be on the actual merchandise for a Patreon store or Patreon store. And you can access that through the Discord as well. Um, I believe we're setting up for what, the first three months for a certain tier. You'll receive a free gift, which will have some of the merchandise with on, on it as well. Um, and then there's also the classes that we'll be teaching uh, and within our Discord. Um, history, common thread stuff, 
I, I played a telephone game backwards through all the history deity symbols and such and tie them together to get to the one source. Um, so again, if you'd like to join us with that. So um, what I did is I put down a thin layer on this side because I have my light source coming in from this side. And I'm going to start a little bit over here of the yellow, but I'm, I'm actually going to cover this. You'll see um, the picture I see here uh, of of um Malice's beautiful song and so i'm putting i had yellow thin layer down and then a little bit of a thin layer of indian yellow which is it has a little bit more orange in it you're not able to see it very clearly here because like i said this camera but i will show it to you as we go um and uh just to read it again again i'm using a three-fourth recorder brush um this one's artist loss bristles aren't so sometimes they come out not so bothered with it it's a little bit of character within it so um as we go i have other supplies i do have quite a bit of collection of brushes you don't see them they're off camera over here um they're a little bit in the back camera but i have a lot of them uh i do have like i said a favorite ones that i like to use or i'm just used to using them over and over again so um and um when i like i said so i'm using a, a watercolor technique with acrylics i put a, a base down that is so thin so i can i get a bit of an outline of where my light's gonna go um where if i have anything that is lighting or highlighting in the foreground where that light will come off it where the shadows will be so I'm starting that in the background first. The fun thing about acrylics is um, that's different than oil painting. I haven't tried oil painting, but I know people who have a um, family member who has. And it, if you were correct something, sometimes you have to wait till it dries to correct it. And it takes a couple days. Acrylics dry fast. You can actually paint over the top of them. So you can do a lighter color on a darker color. You can do a darker color and then a lighter color on top. So, uh, you know, or or put down something light at the bottom and put dark on it. You can flip and flop with them. It's a bit different, but it is an easy medium to use and to uh, actually explore if you're starting off with painting. Um, and like I said, I do like acrylics. And this this particular canvas, speaking of which, is a 14 by 14. It is mounted on a wooden frame. Um, I do like them when they're mounted in a frame because you can actually just, if you had a nail sticking out of your wall, as you may see behind me here, I do have a lot of my gallery pieces. They're actually just hanging out on the wall. There's a little tiny wire nail in it, and it gives you a bit of, you could hang it on there. So, um, and the stretch canvases are really good. Uh, the flat ones usually don't have, these are gessoed. So they come prepped already. But the flat ones usually aren't gessoed. Um, sometimes you do, if you want a glossier look to your painting, would gesso them. But because of the way I layer paints, I actually would just get them. These are already primed. Leave them as is primed. And um, if I wanted something to have a glossier background, I would put another layer of primer on it, which I do also have. Um, but for this particular painting, not so much. Um, so I'm starting off with this color that I have, which is the yellow or pale yellow and the Indian yellow, which is more of an orange, slightly orange color, a little bit more pigment within them. And I'm layering it on top just to create a bit of cloudy shadow. Um, if you pay attention to the song, you may see, you could see how what i'm doing um it does have a message with it but like i said it's connecting to the person through the song um not many people know how to do that uh in a 3d space it is quite profound um my ex-husband when he would come in and ha uh, watch me paint and i push music which I, like i said i'm not able to do and put music on in this video uh the copyright claims for youtube in the future, when we have our own website domain, um, we will be able to actually post videos on them that you we won't have to worry about copyright claim. Um, the person, uh, Scott, right now that we're working with was basically the creator of this 
Discord, the Discord server owner, and um, has a lot of very good answers to help people out, make them feel well. Um, right now, he does not have internet access very well. Uh, he doesn't have internet access at all. Um, times have been rough on us, and we keep plugging along to help people as much as possible. But we are doing our best to get him internet access because he, he actually just wants to be put to work. So um, if we could find a way to do that within the Patreon or and, and just have that access for us will allow us to continue on. So, and like I said, these videos will be, um, I know a lot of people, they do the, the really fast videos, but I encourage people to come talk, come learn, come interact with us. Um, you know, have a little bit more personal time with people than to just see those fast tutorials. Some people, I have said myself, I do, I've seen them where it was to watch a painting being done. These ones are quite different. They're not uh, something that you, I am fast at them, but it's not something that you would just hurry up and fast forward or put on a time, you know, fast time speed for it to get, just see the end result. And if you want to skip ahead, you can, but you may miss a lot or may not understand exactly what I'm doing. And right now I'm just using this technique to kind of circular technique to create almost a cloudy, smoky structure. Um, I'm going to add another darker color or an orange to it, a darker orange, but I'm not going to, this one's actually Mars orange. It's pretty much, it's more brown. Um, and the, I'm going to add it, but it's going to be such a thin layer. I'm actually going to switch brushes to put this layer on. I'm going to leave my brush there, and I'm going to come back to that too. And I'm going to use, let's see here. Let's use this one. This was the number four. Um, number four brush. Okay. And it's a bit thinner. Uh, it, it's round brush. And I, like I said, I like to use watercolor technique. So I will get this brush to be a fair amount of water with on, on it when I put this color on. And this is Mars brown. Or I'm sorry, Mars orange. And it, it's it's got more brown in it um and i do have a lot more darker colors i have like uh, i have the burnt sienna on here and burnt and um burnt umber a lot of dark colors they're going to be on the top and so i'm laying down the background as first and i have i have paint on my brush and i'm gonna dilute it with water and i'm gonna come in here and i'm actually gonna create like a cloud structure very thin because we're going to build within it as the light is coming from behind this particular source, the light source. So when you're looking at it from this front view and you see these clouds, you're going to see these thin vapors first. And, it, and it, the color actually, when it comes through, it's lighter, it's thinner, it's like smoke. Um, and when the clouds thicker, you get these darker colors because obviously it's more matter for light to move through. It creates more shadow. Um, and that's what I'm doing is just creating a structure here, a cloud structure, shaping out some clouds areas in front of where this light source is coming from. And as we go, those colors will get darker. I get paint all over my finger already. Haha. -ha. And actually, before I continue, even on this side, as you can see, I'm just pushing the water around on it, and I'm creating these darker areas, like a boundary, like a smoky area. Mm, not sure. You can barely see it in the within the um, camera. It is because I'm using such a light color on a white canvas, and the camera does have trouble focusing on the lighter colors with a whiter background. But I will pick it up and show you when I'm done. Um, but as I go, I'm going to continue with these lighter colors. I actually do know that there is 
a darker color here on the side, a darker mass. Like I said, I did listen to this album or this song um, before. So I do know, have an idea about the picture. And I get these pictures in my head in person. So like I said, picture in my head. And it's a moving picture. It's, it, especially with music, it's like you're in a Matrix movie and you're able to watch it, a scene, over and over again as it moves. And I can rewind it, fast forward it, pause it, walk into it, see it, look at the light. What am I looking at? Um, some people may feel a little exposed in that because I'm looking at something that's a piece of their soul. Some people might actually enjoy that. They might, and I, I'm, I know I'm using a lot of might words, but I don't, I'm not in front of an actual person right now, so I'm not going to make an assumption on it. We don't make assumptions within our school. We don't work on them. But um, people, some, some people I have come across felt a little bit exposed by what I did see within their memory parts or their soul structure. And uh, it's kind of deterred them, or at least scared them off for a bit. They weren't ready to face that within themselves. Um, it's a lot of people that are like that. It's okay. Um, fear does control a bit of people right now. Uh, it does. But we're here to help lift that yoke off of people. Get that off of them. Have them feel safe in their skin and uh, in, in the world that we are in. Um, create a change within the world so that we don't have fear and oppression on us. Especially within children. Children are they look at everything in an innocent way, They're, and and with rightly so, because a lot of the fear that's put on people is taught. Um, my life experience itself is came here with no fear, and it a lot of it was put unknowingly, maybe uh, not intentionally, but was put into me because of fears my parents had, and they're valid. Their 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 fears were valid, but fears taught so didn't come here with it. Um, children are naturally curious and it makes them good at being great learners, but also great teachers for people as well. Because being curious means that you question everything and just don't take everything for face value. I mean, that's, it's pretty awesome. So, um, things children come up with, the ideas, the worlds they create, it's beautiful. Um, watching people, like I said, uh, Kids just play Minecraft, <laughs> build things, the way their mind works. So what can we create? Can we, how can we, they don't think within an, a limit sometimes. They just don't see that. They are not taught that there's limits in this world. Um, and <laughs> it's created this beautiful way to see the world around you through different eyes, different perspectives. Um, and like I said, Painting wise, just painting as a kid, as a child, um, it's a great way to express themselves, really is. Or even just any art for that matter at all. Great way to express, express that inner child within. I mean, who doesn't want to color? Who didn't want to color when they were younger? Let me color something. Like, why not? <laughs> You're free to express yourself. There's... There's not that many rules. I get that um, it's often taught to color within the lines when you're younger just to create a boundary. But art is about expression. It's about freedom. It's about finding what's inside, putting it out on paper. There's no, there should be no rule or law for it other than what you're, if you want a certain color, yes, those are bound by certain physics, certain um science that actually equate to why a color would work or wouldn't work so like i said i mean otherwise what you put on a paper what you paint is is beautiful what you see with inside that you want to bring out so okay so once again i am putting a um mars orange down just a little bit darker orange uh, a little bit more brown in it um, and I have previously put down some yellow, pale yellow, 
and some Indian yellow, which is more orange as well. It creates a little bit. And I'm just putting layers down. I have a lot of water on my brush, and I'm actually pushing the water around on the canvas. And I'm creating these this cloudy background for the sky. Um, and I want to put a little bit more like rays coming down. So like I said, I have a little bit of water. And I'm just pulling them down here. I will also be adding a bit of uh, points for lighter color, like a white even, that'll actually look kind of like light bubbles that are coming up. Um, dust motes even, but reflective ones. So I will be also putting that on there. But, and, and you can see, is I can also do that by not even putting paint on there. I can actually just put water on the brush and actually create a spot and pull the paint off. And it creates a lighter spot on top of my painting. Pull some paint off the canvas before it dries. You could still do it. I, you could still do it because I have alcohol on the brush after it dries. You can scrub. It's like scrubbing the painting, basically the canvas. Um, you can create lighter pockets on there. So I am sort of doing that as well. And I will be putting more darker colors as I go as well on here. So, see, I'm just going to layer more of this brown on. Or I should say this Mars orange, which is a sort of a brown orange. So, rusty color. A little bit more rusty red kind of in it. And this is just the background. So, like I said, these... A lot of this will actually be I'd add more details onto it. Uh, I, there's a lot within this painting, with, within this music. I am kind of splashing my brush, but that's okay. I want a certain effect with it, so I'm going to do that. Kind of a speckly, splotchy kind of background here. Okay, so... Add a little bit more of the color pigment without putting as much water on it. And go back in here and actually darken some of these areas again. Create a little bit more texture where I want these cloud-like smoky things to go. Smoky things, smoky friends. We could be like Bob Ross. My other tutorial videos are called Boop Ross. Um, but like I said, uh, and I, if I, if I find music that isn't copyright that I can use as a background for these, I will, I will put a little bit of music in the background, but YouTube, like I said, been kind of copyright happy on everything. And it kind of, it makes it hard for, uh, uh, to put a tutorial or, or anything that that you would like for music in the background to actually have that on here when, especially when I paint music, when everything's copyright. And I've already paid for the copyright within, I'm using Spotify. I pay for the copyright license through a monthly fee. So for them to slap another copyright fee on it just because it's YouTube, it, it's kind of redundant and it shouldn't be like that. Uh, another thing that system-wise that we're quite aggravated about within the system, the way that money works and the greed and such within it. Um, uh, as much as, yes, the world is, is running off of money. I'd like to sort of go back to barter system now to have um, trade skills for skills. Communities like that. Somebody needs help with something, uh, to bake them a meal, make them, make them something, uh, do a painting for them. A gift, sew something, clothes, trade for clothes, any one of those, any number of those ways. I don't have any aversion to that whatsoever. People should be working together in this world to actually make things a lot easier on people. Um, 
And of course, and I know people are talking about the medical stuff that's going on, but like I said, we do, we're energy healers. We are light beings in a sense, so we have the ability to heal. I am adding a little bit darker color here. There is an actual entity within here that I have seen. A gentle giant, a gentle smoky giant. Part of the being, part of the soul spirits that I see within Malice. Once again, he's a very good, very good guy. And I suggest people, don't be so afraid of things that you're not aware of. Even if it's something dark. A lot of people, they have gone through emotional traumas. A lot of people... um are here at their full spectrum selves, full spectrum. And it's being okay with your darker side. We are light. So all light is white light, but it does include those violets and darker colors. The ones people are like, oh, it's evil. It's a balance. It's a yin yang. Entire, there's no such thing as entirely too evil without even a little ounce of good or entirely too good without just a little ounce of evil or darkness within. And it's being okay with yourself. It's being okay that we made mistakes. It's being okay that, you know what, there's things that just made us not so great at times. Uh, emotions. And, and, and even in my life, but in other people's life, people sometimes let that emotion and fear control them. It has happened before. You, you, you get through stress, you get bogged down with things. Um, so it's okay to admit that shit, I did something wrong, man. It's not right. I'm not a perfect person by all means. I'm not, <laughs> um, it's okay for us to see that side of ourselves, to look in the mirror and go, all right, we can make peace with that. We can move forward. We could, we could use that as a, as our tool for who we are. We can use it as a way to teach people, to help them with their fears, their, what they're seeing in themselves and they're not able to accept. So, you know, we offer those healings as well. We offer life, life uh, counseling, life coaching. We have that um, within the school as well. Also, for like I said, the healing circle, we are also putting up. Jerry and Scott will be a part of that. I do most likely I'll be in with those as well. Um, and uh, I amplify the energy. I don't have to speak with anybody. Mine doesn't work with voice. I do connect with them at a different level. I have like a sort of a backdoor key to things. Um, some of that is to do with what's within my head. Um, and seeing a person's soul. And wanting them to feel good. Wanting them to, to heal their soul. So, and, and, and this is a mind-body-soul that we're doing. A healing. So, it's a really good thing to, to try out. Um, it's a good thing to push. Um, Malice is experienced as well with uh, healing. Um, so is Jerry and Scott. As well as Vicky. She has a blanket on people. It's, it's quite unique. Each person's healing ability and their energy signature that we feel. Um, we're looking to help. So. Why not? Alright. I'm going to put a little bit more Mars Orange. Because I want to make this side a little darker now to balance this side. And more in the foreground I'm going to balance. I want to leave this background a little bit more smoky. And. I think I'm going to have this episode go for like an hour though. Just an hour. So, because it's already good not to 40 minutes, but I'm enjoying this one. So I want to thank Malice again for suggesting this song, and it is something that is special to him. Thank you. Awesome song. I suggest that people would listen to it. Um, get in touch with yourself. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror. Don't be afraid to make peace with yourself. Um, and if you have trouble with things, we're here. We want to help. Want to help heal. The more people we heal in this world, 
the better we all are as a collective. We raise our vibrations together. We raise the vibration of this earth together. Um, we facil facilitate a better future. We um, collectively do that in a way that helps everyone, even Gaia, Mother Earth. We are connected to her. All right, so now that I created a bit more foreground here. And some of the things that I mean, people might not know, I have a library within my head. It's not the same as Akashic Library. It's a little bit more. It's a library of libraries. So, um, and uh, a lot of these paintings that I see, they're already been done. <laughs> so it's a library of libraries because things are recorded in light. And if they're recorded in light, we are continuing forward in a multiversal sense. This painting's already done somewhere, in which case I'm able to access that. It's also a difference between what libraries within my head. And I'll upload this, and I hope Alice watches this. Hope he enjoys what he sees. A bit of the process of it. Uh, some of them, some of the newer people within Discord have come in and seen the gallery behind me. I've shown them. Um, I am passionate about my art. Yes, I'm passionate because it, it's fun. Uh, it's something to connect with people to. It's a way to show them the inside of them. And like I said, it's not, it's, people think that it's, it's always, always a light thing. They want to be that, but Sometimes it's the darker side. Sometimes it's just being at peace with it. And you know what? It is beautiful. <laughs> All sides. Full spectrum. It's beautiful to, to see that within a person. I wouldn't be afraid of it. Like I said, I'm not perfect. There's shit, man. I've done really, really wrong things. So, excuse my language. But yeah. It, people make mistakes. If we learn from them we don't continue them, then they become lessons and we become better. Ourselves become better. This to be a little bit darker here. Let's create a little bit more form. And it's going to get darker and darker as I go because these are cloud-like entities right now. Smoky. I want to outline them as best as I can. So I am, I'm going to do that now. And then the shape will take form as I continue on with these paintings. A little bit more darker side on that side. And like I said, I'll be adding a darker color. I may even go into the burnt sienna. I have Mars brown, burnt umber. I have a pearl copper gold. It's actually a redder color of pearl, um, of like a copper gold color. And um, it shimmers because it has mica in within it. So I'll be using that as well. And then I get into these reds, scarlet reds and crimson red and, and um, carmine red. And then the really dark colors, Mars black, brown umber. I have gray, so these colors will be, and the gray I'll be actually using soon too, because it's going to create this more of a smoky texture as I pull, as like clouds flowing down. So, and I'm gonna create more of a switch here. This is an energy painting. And like I said, I wish I did have the song to be able to play for you. I wish it was not copyright because it's a really cool song, really powerful. It does have a lot of energy in it, builds you up inside kind of de deal. So, and um, I enjoyed it. But it be, would be more akin to the ones that I would listen to while walking home from work. <laughs> Four mile journey, 
a lot of times I'd listen to more instrumental, Audio Machine, but um, Shine Down was on my list. Magic Dragons. So, Four Mile Walk was, it was a good journey. And I would cross um, a lot of open places, uh, cemetery. I had a lot of cemeteries around my area and the miles of them. And they're actually, people are saying, that's so creepy, morbid, whatever. There's, they're really not when you go within them. Um, yes, there's spirit energy there. They're people. And they're in an in-between sometimes. So not nothing. it's not something to be afraid of. And actually, Vicky's really good at connecting with spirit. Um, and as we all grow, as she does, we do as well. I've been more into connecting with the spirit. Um, I have a few pictures from a cemetery walks so that I took. Uh, really cool occurrences within them. Uh, not something spirit-wise I think you ca I caught in any of the pictures. More along the lines of certain lighting. On certain parts of the day and um having it hit a statue or or a headstone in a certain way that created a very unique scene so i enjoyed those walks um or a mini half stonehenge i found in one of uh one of the cemeteries close to me that was actually a really cool find within one um podium place and the way it was set up and structured um, it's really cool. Very, very awesome. Um, there's other paintings that I do. Um, those would be special ones. A lot of the, anything like music albums, they'll be negotiated because they require more canvases and canvases can be quite expensive. Just the blank ones. You're talking like the big four feet ones are a couple hundred dollars, just blank canvas. So, um, that's not even paint on it. And those take quite a while, and I actually don't own any of those really big ones. I would love to, and I would love to paint quite a few things on them. Um, but soon. Okay, create these streams here of smoky energy coming down, and I will get more detailed as we go. And the colors will actually start to get darker as I go as well. Um, I have a bit of time. We're going to put the burnt sienna on it. So now it's a darker color. So burnt sienna. A bit darker than the uh, Mars orange. A lot darker actually. And I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to start to really get into the darker parts of this. into the where I want more structure, more matter that causes shadow from the, what's behind this. Where this light cannot shine through. There is matter within the way. It's in the way of it. It's causing, blocking the light. A lot of times within a person's soul a lot that they hold on to an anchor wise blocks the light from coming through their true selves true source true god to actually shine within and to shine in through the cracks um so the more we can drop those anchors we can let go of those emotional ties the more that we can um heal from them from our wounds and traumas and learn from them the lighter we become. Lighter and both lighter as in lighter, like helium lighter, but lighter as in with rating it out lighter. Right. Do a little bit more detail on here. And this entity is going to be darker, but like I said, I'm making this just rough outline of him when I say him. This is an entity I did see connected. Um, very cool. Some of some of what I was told is that most people are afraid of it, but <laughs> no, he's a really cool kind of person. Entity, I should say. Really cool entity. <laughs> Let's 
I actually encourage people to look more outside of themselves. Um, at the people around them, the energy around them. Not to be so fearful of things. Um, yes, curiosity's killed the cat, is what is often said. But sometimes having a healthy curiosity can help facilitate our brains to grow more. It also makes us less afraid of the people around us just for being different. We are all uniquely different, all of us. We, in, in essence, we are all within. Source. God's soul within. By hurting any other person, I'm hurting myself. I wouldn't want to hurt another person. And yet at the same time, I'm also here to help people and have been hurt myself. In which case, it is okay to let those people go. It's okay to, to try, and I say try, but if, if change is not made on the other part, when you are doing your best to help, then sometimes we do walk away. We should walk away. It's okay to walk away. It's okay to walk away even if it's family who's doing it. People can change. I always say that people are always the same. They're not. People say that a lot. They're not always the same. People can change. People can learn. It's never too late to learn. It's never too late to change. So. Do a few more minutes of painting on this. And then I will be done with this particular episode. Like I said, I don't want them to go too long. A lot of people lose interest within them. And I am talking a lot. <laughs> Usually I have music on, you jam with me, you can watch it. You just watch the process happen. But um, like I said, copyright from YouTube. Not a biggie problem. And as you go through tutorials with me, or if you just want to watch, um, you could set up a live room. You could watch me paint within them. You can ask questions in the text channel. Somebody could actually just be answering questions for you. And watch me do the music in this way. It's live. Sometimes it's the best way to, to get something with the music. And a lot of my music, when I am um, doing a playlist, I do put a get together big playlist. The music then is very much random. Um, I don't. Sometimes I don't even know what's on there. And random is... The best way to go. Let the universe decide. A lot of times you'll see, um, I believe it's a trick that Da Vinci used. Um, if you kind of blur your eyes, you get the sense of where the shadow and light is and then go and do detail after. It's actually a really cool way to do a painting. It's one of, and, and for me, it's, I'm doing it because I'm seeing in other dimensional layers. It's not just this one. I'm seeing mind's eye into it um and being that connected with with that part of me but also the part of the universe part the soul the multiverse the energy with it um you're not looking for details as much as you are looking for the shape you're you're bringing it out of the painting you're pulling it from the canvas as opposed to putting something on it i am putting paint on it but the image itself comes out of the canvas, comes out of the mind's eye. So. All right. I want to take more. I have a few minutes left, so I'm just going to take more of the Mars orange, I believe this is. Actually, it's, it's the uh, Indian yellow. And I'm going to create a bit of streaks here with a finer line. More of like energy coming off. 
And before I finish this particular episode, I will hold it up the camera so that you may see. I'm going to actually call it a wrap here. It's going to get onto the hour mark. And when I come back, we'll continue this one. Sorry, I do have a cat named Simba. Sometimes it's a bit of a butthole. Um, we will continue more with the background. There's a little bit more background going on before I start doing the darker, darker colors, which is actually going to be in the foreground, and more highlights will be on top of them. Um, so this particular piece is for Malice. Um, this is Anarchy Club, King of Everything, and it is painting more of his soul. Uh, let me get here. You can see that. I will put a picture up, obviously, when I'm done. There's a lot of detail that you're not able to quite see within this, but... And, um... This would be good for this episode tutorial. If you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to join our Discord. Um, you can watch more of this. You can ask for commission work. I will do that for you. Um, like I said, the prices are more. They're significantly more because what I do is a lot. Um, I don't see anybody else doing what I do. Um, you can purchase merchandise if you'd like through the merch store on our Patreon. You can join through our Patreon if you'd like to support us. We, we're launching that very soon. And um, join our Healing Circle. We have Tarot. We have Poetry Sessions with Jerry. We have Emerald Tablets readings. Um, healing Circles are profound. If you're looking for mind, body, soul, emotional healing, you're looking for soul healing like karmic regressions as I do, um, you're looking to feel good in your body, um, healing uh, stage 4 cervical cancer, gone. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, so if you want to learn more of our story, I ask you to join us, like I said, through our Discord. You can contact us through relatively speaking 2020 at gmail.com. Um, our YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook channel, relatively speaking 2020 as well. So, and there'll be more of these tutorials going out. And if you'd like to know more about the gallery or purchasing prints, or if you'd like to be a member and help us, feel free to join. We are building a school and a community. So it's a muted, it's an, a unity project, world community. We are world citizens. So without further ado, this is Rosemary signing off for Relatively Speaking 2020. And I hope to see you all in the next one.